get off my ass. I had to get to the cash. I had to stick to the plan. I had to quit taking Xanax. I had to quit popping Percocets. I had to get off the coke. I had to quit the promethazine. I had to do it myself. I had to do it no hell. I bet nobody be crying. I told you, stop playing with me. That motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. So Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Because you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feeling. You hurt my baby feeling. My, my, my baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. Stop playing with me. Tomorrow my music video. How can in front of people? How can you do that? Please. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Two Movement. And this is Are You Fucking Serious? As in this this is this is what it's come to. Um, y'all know how I do. I did this video, but it was too, too heavy. It was too heavy, so I had to put that shit on the Patreon. Uh, if you not on the Patreon by now, you just lost. You lost. Like, I'm, whenever I go heavy and hard like I just did, and I, I it's like, I, the, the video, I, I didn't even really, t like, I went crazy. I was in the zone. Um, but... It, it had to do with this, but it was more dealing with staying away from failures. And that's probably what I'm going to title it. But in this video, obviously, if y'all ain't seen it yet, it's, um, y'all finna see it. Let's just go to work. But I had to do it on this shit so I can pause it and play it at will. My baby said about this bitch crying. I don't care. I told you stop playing. This motherfucker cut my baby hell out of here. Look at that yeah. shit. That shit sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. My baby sat there for two hours. Oh hit. All right. Um, and shout out to Jim TV. I, I couldn't find a video, so I, I just went. Uh, got it. But now we've seen the video. Let's go over it again, and next time we're gonna stop it. My baby said about that bitch crying. I don't care. I told you stop playing with me. You know I'm gonna cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that. First thing, first thing. That shit. That shit sick. First thing you notice is uh how useless the father is. That's the first thing you notice. How um what is it? I, I can't say nothing but useless. Defenseless, he can't do anything. That's the first thing I want you to notice. All that he can do with his child being assaulted, all that he could do is pull his uh, phone out and record. Do you think that if he, if the shit was was, was switched around, do you think that she? Would, would just stand there and hold the camera out? If he brought the child over, if, if he started cutting the child hair out, do you think she would stand there and let him do it? That right there shows you as a society where we're at. I'm not going to talk about the girl's head because that what got me on the wrong track on the, the Patreon video. And I, start, I talked for the fucking 20 minutes about a motherfucker being lazy on some shit that she brought into the world on her on her choice but i want you to pay attention at how fucking defenseless this father is i also want you to pay attention to the little boy that's standing there watching this viewing this this is a normalcy to see a woman in our culture in our culture it is a normalcy, I guess, in all. See a woman dominate a man. This is normal. The woman dominates the man. 
if a man wants to, you know, talk, just, you know, whatever, uh, if the child want to go uh, spend time with a daddy and shit like that, the child um, will, will have to, you know, try to manipulate the mother and make the mother think that she's trying to go get some money from the daddy or something like that. Because the child knows that the mother wears the pants. The mother is the boss. And in a lot of ways, the mother wants that to be understood. So she'll do certain things to flex her muscle. What I say go. And that's why this is the same thing we saw when the uh when the bitch uh put her sons behind the man car because he went and got his son's haircut. If you don't run it through me, the boss, it ain't going to get done. The white man told me, quiet down. The white man told me that I'm in power now. When I went and turned you into the white man, they told me that I'm in power now. Didn't they tell you that I'm in charge? I'm the boss now? Finally, after all these years of you telling me what to do and you being on top and you uh, uh, having all the control and you being able to come in when you want to come in, now I run this shit. It is a, if you think this shit is just surface level, you highly mistaken. I was just talking to my brother and I said, uh, nigga, we was talking about uh, the um, the purpose of big bitches and how what what a, what a, what a, what a what a purpose they have, what a what a treasure they are. Everybody knows that you know what I'm saying. I big up the big girls, big girls. I don't want to say big girls because of course there are big girls, but. So let me say a big bitch. Big bitches, a big bitch, that hoe, she has, she serves a fucking purpose. Like I told y'all, if you want head, a big bitch is going to be the best every time. She's going to be the best every, I didn't, not, a, not a big woman, a big bitch. It's a difference. She gonna do Antoine this every time. But my brother was saying, yeah, you right about that. The only issue be is when a big bitch get too comfortable and then she start acting like a regular size bitch. And you know, with him saying it, 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 it sounded like mean and shit like that. But it's like, you know what? I can feel where he coming from. Um, because he, he's saying she start asking like, what is this? What are we doing? Like, are we official yet? And all that shit right there is like, Hold on, hold on. Like, you know what you is. Like, you know that I'm not supposed to be here. Like, you know that this is kind of a, a delicacy for you to be, you know what I'm saying, eating like this. So, it ain't like you, in, in, in real life, if, when we out here in the world like this, like, like, bitch, you really, you lucky I'm over here fucking with you like this. Like, it's like, bitch. And, and, and we didn't even moved up a little bit to what I don't, I ain't just coming over and getting head and, and dipping. Like, ho, I'm actually, I'm letting, like, bitch, I'm, I'm actually letting you get some dick. Like, I'm actually letting you get on top now. Like, I'm letting you, you know, start the engine, then letting you finish it off on top. Like, bitch, I'm giving you all this, and now, goddamn, you, you. So hold on, you telling me you taking my kindness for weakness. So I should have just left you on head duty. I should have just left you on head duty. You know what I'm saying? And just had it like that. So, you know what I'm saying? But because now, with me giving you more, now you thinking, goddamn, it's time for us to, like, hold on, whoa. You, we done forgot where the fuck, we didn't got too deep in the water. So now you finna see, now I gotta get the fuck away from you for a couple months now. So you can understand what it is. And at any time, any time, if a big bitch don't like the way she treated, she can decide, I'm not going to be a big bitch no more. I'm going to goddamn hit the gym, yada, 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 and we can do it like that. But 
that that's that's where we coming in at as I'm saying be careful of any bitch you fucking with when you domineering and you having everything your way. I want you to understand that. And that's how a nigga can get stuck with a big bitch. Because the big bitch, sometimes she won't say, what is this? She won't ask the question and alert you to how she really thinking in her head. She'll just, just keep playing a role, keep playing a role, keep playing a role. Let you get more comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable, comfortable. And then she throw the goddamn pregnancy test on the bed. Like, what's happening? And now she's finna ask you, what are we? That's her goddamn leverage right there. You understand? We look at this big bitch right here, and we know that she a head monster. We know she a head monster. That hoe know what the fuck to do. Both them children hers. You understand? She probably, and she probably wasn't even that big then. This hoe was probably, shit, that hoe right there? Man, this a club bitch. Man, you'll fuck this hoe all night, nigga. Shit. My baby said I'm about to be a friend. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. You know I'm going to cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that shit. That shit sad. Hurt my baby for you. Now wait. But he don't hurt the dad. You hurt my baby for you. That baby sat there for two hours. I got my own gun out. My baby sat there for two hours. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's a dick pleaser. Ooh, Lord. That's a dick pleaser there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Yes, sir. You can tell by the nose. That is a dick pleaser there. Ooh, and she working me down a nigga hell no. Man, nigga, you got you a dick pleaser on your hand, man. Man, that bitch finna go crazy on that goddamn head. You can tell she smoke weed. Man, that bitch finna do numbers on that goddamn dick, man. Let me stop this shit before I goddamn my mind go to wondering, man. Man, shit, nigga. Hell yeah. Man, that hoe, man, that hoe, man, she gonna have you busting everywhere. I'm trying to tell you something. And, that, and then she gonna make sure you on the drawer. That's what they do. They gonna make sure that you got all the drawers you need to go to sleep mentally while you still awake. And then that hoe just finna go down that bitch. And do some retarded shit, man. She is gonna go down there and just do stupid shit down that motherfucker, man. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. She finna, she finna treat you like a baby, man. She gonna clean it up. So I'm talking about just, oh man. Mm. But, but, but that that damn what we talking about. Uh, let's go back. Well, let's go back. Hold on. Shit. Damn, I gotta cut that part out. I need to cut that part out. Um, but see, that's the problem. That's like they the, the big bitch is always she like the fucker. She like the eagle. She like she's like a, she's a, a a what's it um a predator bird. She on the stoop. She just fucking looking like a hawk. She trying to catch. She she at the apartment. You know she gonna be in the apartment. She always gonna be in the apartment. She gonna have a nice call. She gonna keep her job. You know what I'm saying? That, man, that's that's a nothing ass bitch right here, nigga. She working with Donald. We got weave in her head. How the, are you serious? And the baby got weed. Um, she going she she at the apartments and she just keep a watch. You know what I'm saying? She you know she can't wear nothing. She, all she can do is like try to. Prop up them, them big fat ass titties she got. You know what I'm saying? But she she always looking. She always looking. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find any nigga that's coming in. She listening for motherfuckers having fights and shit like that. She trying to see if niggas brought in their homeboys over that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She trying to take her clothes down to the car and shit like that. And just all kind of shit. But she always on her perch. And when she see a nigga goddamn catch eyes with it and look too long... Oh, she on him. She on him. She finna go ask that nigga for some weed or some shit like that. And that's it. That she finna go in after that. She finna goddamn uh, find out what that nigga sell. Act like she want that shit. And from now, she just, she in there. You know what I'm saying? And then, 
she gonna find out what the nigga weakness is. Most niggas can't hustle, so most niggas is broke, so she just gonna start, you know what I'm saying? This bitch don't need no fucking money. That's, that's one thing that you gonna find out out there. Big hoes do not need no fucking money. Cause them hoes will always be giving a nigga money. Like big bitches will go somewhere and find a nigga some money. She's going to pay a nigga and, because that's her trap. You come in them apartments, that's her fucking trap. You know what I'm saying? She trying to get you behind them doors and do what the fuck she do. She know, all she know is she got to get you behind these doors one night and then shit, you finna be trying to sneak in that bitch whenever the fuck you can. So that's her trap. So she'll pay, she'll pay. But believe me, what the fuck she trying to do is, at the end of the day, is get some of these right here. You probably can't see that because it's behind the speaker box, but I'm pointing at this child. My baby said something about this bitch crying. Huh? That what she trying to get. Yeah, I told you. She trying to get one of those, or one of those. And that, like I said, they'll play it different ways. They'll play it different. If you lucky, a motherfucker will slip up and say something, or do something to let you know that she want a relationship. But even if she don't, if she's slick enough not to show you no sign, understand, no bitch wants to be, especially a, nut, especially a nothing ass bitch. Like, I don't think, like, they don't, they don't like what you're doing. And neither does a bitch like to be dominated, all that shit like that, all this good shit. My nigga, believe me, she wants to talk back to you. She wants to she wants to say no, just to say no. Like it's shit she wanna do, but she 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 knows that you can leave freely. If y'all just fucking or whatever, you can leave freely. So she wanna have something to where, uh, oh no, this nigga, uh nigga, you gotta talk to me, nigga. You gotta talk to me. So she'll play up on the, she'll play up on the, she'll play. And I'm telling you what's going on, my nigga, and you can be the uh, other uh, no, my bitch, uh, yeah, all that good shit like that, my nigga. And you gonna find out just like every other nigga with a whole bunch of swag found out. Nigga, that hoe was waiting until she got pregnant. She got pregnant, everything changed. Now she wants respect and that's where y'all are gonna clash. Because it's like, hold on, bitch, respect. Bitch, get the fuck in the... Take that shit off. Get the fuck in the house. Come here. No. What? And so starts the bullshit. You're not dealing with that person anymore because that person she was showing you wasn't real. Now you're seeing the real her. You don't know a person until you're in a vulnerable state. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to IJ. Uh, I need to holler at IJ. I gotta find out what his fucking social media is. Um, that nigga ain't social media nigga, but I heard he's doing good. Um, and that's, that's love. But he said it. Um, if a nigga, if, if I got, if I got injured and I was in a wheelchair, nigga, a lot of niggas wouldn't, wouldn't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas wouldn't fuck with me no more. Nigga said, if, if you call AIDS, a lot of niggas when still fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know until you know you get in a wreck and you can't, you know, you can't move around and shit like that. You know, then you get to see how motherfuckers just keep going. They just speed past you like you was once running with them, but now you got to sit down and niggas ain't coming to you. Now they coming and visiting. You know what I'm saying? But it's not every day like it was. Relationships change, man. They change. And what I'm telling you to do is foresee what's going to happen, dog. A nigga just, uh, I was supposed to hit a nigga today. Uh, he said, uh, my nab cheated on me. I'm like, my nab? Like, hold on, my nigga. So you knew she was a nab? And now you surprised because she cheated on you? Like, what the fuck? And because niggas, y'all are watching this shit, but you're thinking that you are the fucking exception. But one by one, you niggas are in my inbox. Man. Uh, listen, bro. 
This is what I'm hearing. She showed you signs of what it was, or better yet, you knew what the fuck you were. And you better believe, if you start the three S's, because here it is. You can, like, nigga, just like the three S's, of course, it don't have to do with your loved ones. So if she's considered your loved one, then, then try it with her. So she can, even though you really can't do it, with, with a girl, whatever like that. But try it though. Try it. So you got the second S. You can just do it to the point where I, well, I'm nobody else. And of course, you're celibate. You're not fucking it no more. You just focusing on your shit. You're sober. Just you and her. Watch what the fuck happens, dog. Like, she, I'm telling you. There's only one way to fucking succeed, to get to your goal. You have to, everybody has to get the fuck away from you. You cannot have someone in your space all the time. She has needs. It's like, no, I can't take anyone else's needs right now. I'm trying to make a island. Off this island, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build, you know, ships, and I'm gonna come back and help everybody. But I can't take nobody with me. I have to get to this island. Get out of there, Aki. So that, but that, that's that's what that is. Stop playing with me. I'm gonna cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that shit. That shit sad. Hurt my baby feeling. Now wait. But you don't hurt the dad. You hurt my baby feeling. I made a shot that for two hours. I made a shot that for. And, and once again, you look at her, she's just textbook. Just textbook now. No logic in what she's saying. I do my own girl hair. And, and now let's get to the point of this. What happened was um, he got her hair done. Um, believe me, if he would have went to her homegirl and got her hair done, would not have been an issue. Um, what probably happened was he let... His new, his wife do a hair or his girlfriend do a hair. And that's what that is. Um, so it's just, it's a point of him being messy. Now, we got to look at it a little bit. Now, if you notice you have a nothing ass, now, nigga, unless you trying to use this footage, unless you trying to use this footage to, uh, to go to court with or some shit like that, this whole situation was like, like, tell me what you did it for. Like, you knew you had a nothing-ass bitch. You knew you had a nothing-ass bitch. And you knew this would be her fucking reaction. What are, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now, let me walk with you. Let me walk, because I'm thinking with you. So, are you trying to show the child? Because you can prove to your child who, you know, who the evil one is. I think that's important. Uh, I think, you know, children are blank slates. Now, you can guide their personalities and stuff like that, but children's, that's why they say children are cruel as fuck. Like, because they don't have any filter. They see it exactly how it is. They don't, they're not, they don't have the mind for politics and shit like that. If it's red, it's red. That's what it is. So, no, mommy, you, you're not telling the truth. You told daddy to come over here. And then when he got here, you act like you wasn't home. You told us to turn the lights out. No, mama, you told me to ask daddy for some uh for some money for shoes, and he gave it to you, and you spent my money on uh Ed or Brian. My mama don't tell the truth. Mama, are you lying? That's that's when your child asks you that. Are you lying, mama? And now you want to slap the child. Don't you ask me no shit like like. But that's all he's seen you do is be dishonest. And then the child will see the father. The father is never acting like that. Always nice. Always pleasant to be around. Always positive. And then the, the mother will wonder why the child wants to be around the father so much. It's like it's always something with you. What You got all these different uh, dudes and, and then... Uh, they they be doing drugs. They be smoking weed and they be stinking. They be doing uh, I don't know what he be he be smoking stinking cigarettes. And uh, he had a gun and 
and he beat my mama up. All this shit. So you now you got the child witnessing you being beat up. And if it's a little girl, this is her first image of love. My mama getting beat up. And not only that, after the boy beats up the, the mother, the mother crying and make the man leave, but two days later, she invites the dude back. She lets him come back in the house. And that becomes the norm. Motherfuckers leap, going from one house to the next house, can't never stay in one place, and she cannot get her shit together. She always broke, and she's dealing with this dude who beats up and don't do shit for her, don't give a fuck about her kids. What effect do you think that's having on a child? But, of course, the mother then will say, stay the fuck out of my business. Where about you? Like, no, we're worried about the child. What do you think this child is going to grow up and be? With that as a uh, custodial guardian. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, broke ice cream machine, no mayo, add pickles, extra napkins in the bag, apple pie serving. I definitely. I ain't even know. I ain't even know she worked at uh, McDonald's. Okay, hold on. should have been the same. I don't understand why the fuck they walk right next to each other. Okay. Let's see what she had to say about it. Little us find out you the one. Let us find out you the one fucked that baby head up and blaming it on somebody else. Mm. Boy, you saw a picture. I ain't gonna lie, it was cute. I ain't say it was ugly. It was brave and real cute. It just was tired as hell, and I ain't do it. <laughs> number one, number one reason on real petty daddy. I didn't do it, and I ain't tell him to let nobody do it. So the second number one reason is that what? No, come on, my nigga. Like that's what I'm saying, dog. Like nigga don't be choosing these hoes, dog. Nigga do not be choosing these hoes, dog. Like it be simple, dog. Like nigga just be fucking. Nigga be trying to get some head. And nigga get in that motherfucker and that, that head start getting good and a nigga let a bitch get on top. Next thing you know, a nigga got a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got a whole fucking three-year-old. Nigga, and it, that's, that's, that's what I'm telling you, nigga. The, 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 the age for excuses is over, dog. It's too much information out here now for you to say, oh, man, she got me. No, my nigga. No. I'm telling you three S's. I'm telling you what's about to happen. And you still do it? No, my nigga. That what you wanted, my nigga. You a fucking failure. You a failure. Because if you can't have self-control after niggas telling you word for word, and you seeing day for day what's finna happen, come on, my nigga. Look at that hoe, that hoe done been stabbed, cut, and everything. But you can't, but you can't help yourself because goddamn, this hoe letting you get free food at McDonald's, and and that's all it be, my nigga. You just be, you just fucked up because you don't want to stop doing drugs, you don't want to stop smoking weed, you just a broke ass nigga, and this hoe is gonna make sure that you stay broke forever. She's going to be the reason you stay broke forever. Because even when, after you stop doing the drugs and shit, you still going to have that fucking child. And she is going to put you on fucking child support. And so every step you take forward, motherfucker going to pull you back on some shit. So you have to value yourself right now. You have to value yourself enough right now to where you say... I'm not gonna waste no more of my time. I owe myself more. I owe myself to get the fuck out of this fucked up cycle I'm in. This cycle of 
barely having enough weed to go to sleep at night, getting up, trying to find, you know, I got to get up early because I'm staying in somebody else's house. Hope these folks don't kick me out no time soon and shit like that. Go outside and try to find a way to hustle. Whether it be, you know what I'm saying, hoping these niggas at the gas station, you know, got a lick on the way. So I'm fucking... I'm leveraging my freedom for another day of what I call sanity. And that is getting high. As long as I can get high, I don't have a bad day. But if I can't get high, it's going to be a bad ass day because look at my fucking life. Look at my life. Look at it. I don't have nothing. Everybody know I don't have nothing. I, I blend in with the hood. I'm just another broke nigga walking up and down the street. Hoping that something happened. Motherfucker know when I walk in the store, I'm probably finna take something. They know when I walk in the store, I'm not gonna buy. Like, come on, my nigga. They know when you walk in the store, you not gonna buy nothing. Like, to where you can't even get mad when they start following you around the store. Like, they treat you like a fucking home. Like, come on, my nigga. Come on, dog. Look at yourself, dog. You can't use the phone unless you around Wi-Fi. But you out here, you out this bitch. You out this bitch, like, fake flexing. Like, you know what I'm saying? With your situation as fucked up as it is, dog, why are you not, like, you still not taking life serious enough to say, I don't have no money to spend on anything else but getting me out this situation? And the reason for that is because, for one, it's fucked up, but it's like, you don't know nothing else. You don't see nothing wrong with it. Of course a person from Wall Street or just a normal motherfucker couldn't live this life that you live in. But it's normal. It's, a, it's become normal. You ain't nothing but like 25 years old. Younger. But you got motherfuckers that's 36 doing the same thing. Staying in somebody else's house. Get up when they get up and get out the house. And at nighttime, I hope they let you in the house. You roll the blunts up and shit. You just like the house slave. They need you to do anything and motherfuckers just all day long until they get home. You gotta just roam the streets. But the, the one reason you can't see nothing wrong with it is because you don't see shit wrong with it. The second reason is because as long as you own the dope, as long as you get the dope, it will mellow. Like this just it's all good. I didn't smoke. Now you get on the internet and type shit, and, and it's like, oh, like, dog, you shouldn't be making no comments. You shouldn't be doing a motherfucking thing on the internet, but a motherfucker will do it. Motherfucker don't see an emergency like that as an emergency. It's crazy. Little son, now you the one fucked that baby head up and blame it on somebody else. Boy, you saw a picture. I ain't gonna lie, it was cute. I ain't say it was. It was brave and real cute. It just was tired as hell, and I ain't do it. Number one, number one reason on real petty daddy, I didn't do it, and I ain't tell him to let nobody do it. So the second number one reason is that was. Man, you know what? It just she had on that crimson um uh purse like a uh, satchel, whatever the fuck that was. I think she from Alabama. And it sound like it sound like she got to look so it's like Birmingham motherfuckers be trying to like sound like they from Atlanta a little bit, but you can still hear the Alabama. Oh, Sean, no made me cut it out. Oh, I love to see that it was too tight. It was too tight. It was too tight. My baby hell had her, her skin meat was puffing up between the braids and everything. It was pretty, but it was too tight. And I don't even braid her hair that tight. Who was spotting that work? I told you, stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that shit. 
That shit is sad. Hurt my baby feeling. Now wait. So you don't hurt the dad. You hurt my baby feeling. I made him sat there for two hours. I do my own dog. My baby sat there for two hours. That shit is sad, dog. That shit is sad. I mean, but that that's where we at, man. That's where we at. Um Honestly, like I said, it uh It made a nigga it it, it. Yeah, yeah, don't be a damn go get this money. Don't be a damn go get this money. Don't be a but um yeah, this shit crazy. Um, just you know what I'm saying, dog. Stay focused. Uh, with a hoe that dumb, my nigga, what the fuck you gonna do? I don't, like what? What can I say? That hoe ain't gonna see this shit, my nigga. Like she not, she won't, won't even understand. Like that was a trap. Like you have to start seeing these people for what they are. You see that nigga right there with the goddamn, with the bins, you know what I'm saying? He pulled a hat of ounces on dick, um, gold, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? Fire right here in the, in the, in the middle of the seat, and, you know, like the fade, you know what I'm saying? Keep a bitch on the side, whatever that shit. Like, you gotta see that for what it is. Well, why we, I'm trying to get you on, my nigga, like, you need to see him for what it is. Like, don't see him as a come up. See him as a trap. Like, that nigga ain't no good. Like, he not trying to help you. Like, the nigga is trying to win. And you ain't even a pawn on this chest for To him, you are below a pawn. Like, this the streets. Like, this the street, this the bottom, and when you in that fucked up position, when you on the couch and you stand with somebody, like, nobody sees any value in you, so you start seeing yourself with no value. You start seeing yourself with no value, so you put yourself in positions where you can get 40 years, where you can die easily. Motherfuckers will put you in a cross just for, like, for some shit that you don't know nothing about. Niggas will find out later on, but nobody don't even give a fuck because you just blowing in the wind. Dog, the last place you want to be when you this fucked up, when it's, it, it's like, nigga, you ain't got nothing, you ain't got a phone, nigga, you ain't got nowhere to stay, ain't nothing, nothing. When you like this, on the ground... The last place you want to be is in the street. You don't want to go nowhere near no fucking dope, man. You don't want to go nowhere near that shit. A broke nigga with a little bit of dope in his hand is just... Dog, that's... that's if you win the street... It's a win because it's so many ways to, as a big dog, it's so many ways to use that junky, broke nigga. It's so many ways to use them. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just brush them off. Just, you know what I'm saying? But when you that broke, junky, out there like that, and motherfucker put some dope in your hand, you don't understand that they know that it's impossible for you to come up. They they know that what they gave you and the price they gave it to you for, it's impossible for you to come up. It's slavery and you just don't, you don't even want to believe because you can't see that that nigga in that car, this nigga ain't no... It's not a come up, it's a trap. But you couldn't see it like that. And a lot of you niggas is falling into these traps because they come 
looking like come ups. When really the come up is you going down this road in this hot ass sun, six miles, gotta walk it. When you already tired, that's your come up. But the nigga telling you to come on, get in, get in the back seat with, with him and the bad bitch in the houses and the air conditioning, all that shit like that. And or the, or the, or the fat hoe up, uh, upstairs to my, come on now, I cook some. So I do want me some head too, boy. I swear, ooh, ooh. I got some smoke for you. You that don't understand. But when you become, you don't understand how dangerous it is for you as a broke junkie, homeless, broke junkie out there. Like you don't understand how dangerous it is for you out there because nobody give a fuck about you. So you can just end up wherever motherfuckers will put your life in all kind of situation because you worthless. Motherfucker will put you in all type of, just like, we just need somebody. We just need somebody to to, to take the bullet. That's all we need. Just, just bring a body and we good. And you have no idea how many situations just need a body. I just need a nigga to, 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 to take this. Whether it be the bullet or the charge, I need me a, a, a sponge. Go find me a sponge. Oh shit, I know goddamn uh 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 Bezo, he goddamn he, he stand on uh meet your couch. Shit, let me go get that nigga. That's what I need it. You know, it's just you gotta get down that road, man. You gotta you gotta start walking. But if you're not, if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to get the fuck, and you fall for this trap, then it's like, nigga, you know what it is. You know what it is. Even if you didn't know what it was, like you had that feeling, and you tried to suppress that feeling by smoking and doing that dope, and. Now you in, know what I'm saying? Not these. You have no idea how many, how many stories, how many nigga story that is. Nigga was just a pawn. He got 50 years, 30 years, 25 years, and the motherfucker who were playing the pieces. You think they call right or pick up the phone right? Them motherfuckers living good right now. They got them a tie business. They got, they got plenty more pawns. It's always going to be pawns in the street. It's always going to be kings and queens. It's every piece that there is, there, you gonna, them pieces are going to be in the street. If you ain't got no value, then you know what piece you are. If you don't want to be played, then don't play the fucking game. But easier said than done for some situations that niggas just, you don't want to believe it, nigga, but the door is right there. Six miles. You got to walk it. Hot sun. But you'll be alive. You'll be alive. It ain't going to be easy. But from a nigga who was... I'm, I'm thinking about starting a, um, starting a, a show or might start a whole channel of fucking A.O. Tales, the, the legend of fucking Yosta Man. Nigga, if I started telling these fucking stories, but if I, if, if I do start telling stories, somebody will make me stop because I, I don't need to, because that shit will open up a whole can of worms. But like I said, it is what it is. Like, stay away from the nabs. They don't give a fuck about you. Um, like they'll they'll be satisfied with anybody. Like don't fall into that. Oh, it's just you. Oh, you changed my life. Oh, whatever the fuck. They just need somebody there. You know what I'm saying? Once you out the way, they will be on to another one. 
Um, so don't so don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> motherfuckers always looking like that. Them fucking they predators. They always looking. So stay focused on that. But um, make sure you go in the description box and see all the channels. The new rap school, Conseco's rap school, on the tactical operations page. Um, all the links are down. So just go to the link in the description box and hit those links instead of having to go look it up. Um, because that tactical operations shit is kind of hard. Um, shout out, love, love, love to all of my female supporters when that hits me up in the DM and respects um, that I am three S's. Um, I understand that some of y'all, um, because I just got done talking about that head shit. Let me, let me stop there. I appreciate the love. Make sure you hit the PayPal, hit the cash app, go to the Patreon. Go to the fucking Patreon. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love. Don't get this